American Graphene Summit, day two in Washington, D.C. on Capitol Hill with Dr. James Torr of Rice University. James, thanks for joining. Thank you. Excellent. I was hoping maybe you could start by just telling me a brief overview of some of your, um, some of the graphene research work that you're doing. Okay, so, so we work across a broad range of fields between the medical applications. We have s several medical applications and those, those are becoming commercialized. Lots of materials applications from small quantum dots to larger grown sheets, structures, and also laser-induced graphene on surfaces. So uh, uh, it's a broad ra range of things and we're, we're commercializing all of these. Excellent. And as, uh, as we just announced, the Graphene Academic Council right. um, that the National Graphene, has put to, uh, National Graphene Association has put together, I was hoping maybe you could just expand on, you think, the value that might bring to the research um, industry as well as how that might bring together research and industry and graphene. Anytime you get seven universities to agree on anything, it's a miracle. <laughs> so we've got a miracle material in graphene, and now we've got this miracle where they've, they've come together. And, and it, it's just saying, yes, we need to do more, we need to come together, and uh, uh, this is just the beginning. This council is going to expand, more, int more, more, more research will come, mm -hmm. and this is something that we really like to see. And what it does is it pu puts an, a good university focal point directly on, on uh, uh, the National Graph Graphene Association, which has had, I think, more interest from, from the, the small company side. And now big companies are coming in. We just saw a talk from Ford Motor mm -hmm. Company where they partnered with some of these small graphene producers. And so now we've got the different components of the science and technology infrastructure of the United States coming forward. That's a big deal. It certainly is. And, uh, you know, uh, could you speak a little bit about the National Graphene Association and what they've been able to do as far as bringing together some of those stakeholders you talk about Ford Motor Company as well, but also the legislators and the uh, involvement of the U.S. government here. In this is huge to be right here on Capitol Hill and to have the the legislators open up this room for us right at, right in their 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 offices here to be able to have this this gathering shows that they are really becoming interested. And so now we we have uh, uh, the congressional leaders from from Mississippi and now expanding out. Uh, Trent Lott was here and 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 to be able to have this sort of interest interest. We're really getting their attention and we have to do this because we are behind. We're mm -hmm. behind China. We're behind the, the, the EU mm -hmm. in this. And so we really have to take this forward. So the, the National Graphing Association has has moved actually faster than I thought it would. But it's, it's, it's welcome, welcome mm -hmm. to see this sort of move. Excellent. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll end here with you mentioned uh, the United States is behind and, and working moving forward. What, is, uh, what, do you, what do you hope to see as some immediate steps here or some near future steps coming out of this today? Well, I, hopefully what we'll see is we'll see a more concentrated effort from, from the United States government to stand behind this. Mm -hmm. Legislation takes a while, so we still would be a couple of years out from them standing behind these sorts of organizations sure. to, to prop them up and to say, okay, let's see what we can do to lessen the burden on small businesses, uh, uh, stay out of their way. I, I mean, one of the, my big things is, is we don't want government in our way restricting us from, from the research side and slowing us down. There's going to be certain export control issues that we have to abide by, but we don't want to be overly regulated sure. because the industry is already being very careful about the environmental health and safety aspects of this material. And the nice thing about graphene is it, it will agglomerate back to graphite, uh, which is a natural mineral anyway. And so our environment uh, 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 is fine with, with graphite. So I think it's a, it's, a, it's a tremendous material. And what would come out of this is hopefully also new science coming that we can turn our carbon waste yep. into, into graphene and fix the carbons rather than it going into CO2 or methane. We can fix that and, and strengthen our materials, use less of those materials, which are also an environmental sink. Excellent. So two miracles today, graphene and getting all in the same room. That's right. Excellent. Thanks, Thank you.